Hello, I'm Katsumi Kishikawa, freelance iOS developer. Today, I will talk about one of the metaprogramming techniques in Swift. The term metaprogramming really attracts programmers. But Swift has few dynamic language features, unlike Objective-C. So, today, I will show you how to use ST to give dynamic behaviors to Swift. First, I will briefly tell you what AST is. Swift AST is rarely seen usually, but everyone is using it without consciousness via development tools. So, introduce some de development tools that use AST. There are several types of Swift AST. I will explain each difference and benefit. Then, let's create a tool using AST to make Swift more convenient. Okay, let's get started. AST stands for Abstract Syntax Tree. Abstract Syntax Tree are data structures used in compilers to represent the structure of the program code. Xcode Source Editor also uses AST for code completion or refactoring. AST is generally compiler's internal representation. However, it is used in some development tools since AST makes it possible to handle source code programmatically. For example, source code metrics analysis is typical usage of AST. The tool called Taylor will analyze Swift AST and report the complexity of the source code. Lint and code format are also typical uses of AST. Swift Lint uses AST generated by SourceKit. The topic of this talk is metaprogramming. So I have to talk about the code generation using ST. Sorcery provides the basis for code generation using ST. Using Sorcery frees you from writing boilerplate code like implementing equotable, uh, codable, and so on. DIKit is a dependency injection framework that performs dependency injection by code generation. Those tools use, use those tools use AST generated by SourceKit. Swift AST is not just what SourceKit is one. So next, let's look at various Swift ASTs that we can get. These listed here are the ways we can get AST in Swift. Each format is different. Each AST contains different information. From now on, I will show the difference of each AST. This is an AST gener generated by SourceKit. It is not only used by compiler internally, since SourceKit is used by Xcode source editor. Therefore, the format is easy to use from external tool. It is JSON format, obviously. SourceKit is a framework written in C++. But there is a, but there is a sweet wrapper called SourceKitten, which is made by JP. So it can be handled easily from Swift. The tools mentioned earlier also use SourceKitten. Thanks, thanks to SourceKitten, we are able to lint, analyze, or generate Swift code. Passing dump parse option to Swift C command, it will display a strong representation of the AST used by the Swift compiler. This is, an, 
this is an output of passing dump AST option to the sweet C command. It is very similar to dump parse option, but this one contains a lot of more information because dump AST, dump AST output is generated in a later phase than dump parse. And dump parse. The biggest advantage of this AST is that all type, in, all type information have been resolved. So, this is greatly useful for metaprogramming, like that processes local variable or method arguments. There is, unfortunately, there is no tool to parse these ASTs. So, if you'd like to use these ST, you have to parse yourself. This is a newly added ST from Swift 4.1, generated by a newly developed library called Live Syntax. It is JSON format. The advantage of this AST is that it contains all information of original source code, like such as white spaces and black lines. So you can restore exactly the same source code from the AST. This is super useful for source, transform source transformation, like code formatter. Also, Swift 14 provides a Swift wrapper of lib syntax that calls Swift syntax. Swift syntax not only analyzes the AST, it, it also offers APIs for making changes to AST and generating new AST nodes. This is a comparison table of the features of each ST. SourceKit ST is simple and the information is not so detailed, but instead, it is stable. Also, a lot of open source libraries use SourceKit. So, it is best for the first choice when you first make something with ST. Swift syntax is the second easiest option. However, the specifications are changed frequently as currently under active development. There are a few open source libraries using Swift, uh, Swift syntax yet. Dump AST is the most powerful AST. However, you have to parse AST yourself and the specification is also unstable. Using it is very hard way. All right, they say practice makes perfect. Now, let's make tools that use AST. As it is called the document object model tree, HTML has a tree also tree structure like AST. Let's convert AST to HTML and make highlight syntax using CSS. Here, we use Swift syntax. Swift syntax makes it easy to traverse all nodes using visitor pattern. Visitor methods have a lot of overloads. Nodes that you are traversing depends on what you override. This time, we would like to traverse all tokens. So we override the method that takes token syntax argument. A token is the smallest string that cannot be further divided. For example, keywords such as if and else, or the symbols such as the parentheses and the colons. These are tokens. When we found the token, 
enclose it with the span tag. Then set the kind of the token as the CSS class. It is a straightforward code. Execute, execute this code, we will get the following HTML with CSS we can get the syntax has been highlighted. It's pretty simple, but it is a good example of the fastest, first step in AST programming. It accomplished the purpose highlighting the syntax, but the HTML structure is not correct. The tree structure was lost just by the having the continuous span tags. To fix this problem, we need to write some more complicated code. Twitter syntax has called visit pre and visit post, which are called before and after visiting the node. You can use this to enclose a specific node with a div tag. Then, you can highlight the structure of the source code like this. <clears throat> I published a complete source code on GitHub and deployed online playground that you can easily try online. Please try it after this talk. So I would like to the demo the Swift SC Explorer. That's the uh, online playing ground I made. Um, you can write any code, the left side, so it's called editor. Then um, the, the code is post the server side, and uh, server side swift analyze the AST and output the source code structure. And you can over the source code. Um, you can see the what node is. Write another code. The result is reflected immediately. Then also you can see the source code structure. Excuse me. So I hope this is a very good guide to your first AST program uh, if you'd like to interest in the AST programming. Up next, I will show a more practical example, aspect-oriented programming in Swift. Aspect-oriented programming is technique for handling process scattered across layers such as logging, tracking, and so on. For example, adding log function to all view controllers methods beginning with a view, like view did load, view will appear, and so on. To insert a process into a method, we focus a node higher than tokens. Use code, uh, use code block syntax. This method is called each time it finds the code block include the curly brace. If the parent node is the function declaration syntax, the node is the beginning of the method. It checks whether the method name begins with view. Then insert the print method if it matches the condition. But if, it is, if you execute this process repeatedly, the duplicate code uh, inserted again and again. To make this tool practical, it requires to seamlessly automate code generation and execution. Ideally, if we can hook 
the build process and pass the converted AST directly to the subsequent build process. But currently, there is no way to intercept suite build system, build process. Instead, I built a mechanism to automate code generation and recompilation, recompilation for now. As you can see, aspect oriented, uh, sorry, this demo time. Um, first, um, I launched a normal application like the PDF reader application. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry, excuse me, can change the mirroring. This is no more application. Um, the video with the app. Please see the this area on terminal window. There is no output because there is no code to um, print method in this project. Then um, I will show the aspect oriented programming with AST. Like the Swift AOP command, then uh, passing the pattern uh, begins with view. Also, advice is the insertion code to the uh, the point. device code like that, um, output the class name and the function name. Then, um, deeper block as the print end and the, the print time interval. Okay, please see the, uh, this area on the time window. Now, the intercept the build process and injecting the code, then compiling the application and installing app and launch simulator. Ta da! <laughs> you can see the uh, log output every view reload and view will appear or view did will be layer sub views. That's it. But the those logging code will disappear um, the, after compilation finished. It seemed like magic. Right? Um, so back to the presentation. As you can see, aspect-oriented programming allows you to insert scattered process such as logging and performance measurement without polluting the original code. Okay, uh, up next is, I'd like to introduce Sweet Power Asset as more advanced example. It uses AST generated by dump AST option. Power assertions, as known as diagrammed assertions, argument your assertion failures with information about values produced during the evaluation of condition, and present them in easily digestible form. Power assertions are a popular feature in other programming language, like Groovy, Scala, JavaScript, and so on. With sweet power assert, such powerful assertions are available in exit test. 
SWIFT Power Asset converts the assertion method automatically to evaluate as and store values of the arguments. Since this conversion requires type information of each values, so it needs dump AST. I think it is a good example to learn making application to use dump AST, AST. So the Swift Power Assertions, uh, I'd like to show Swift Power Assertions demo. Um, Uh, first is uh, uh, me. So I'd like to show the Swift process demo. First is just run the Swift test. Then um, some tests are uh, failed, but I can only I can only know the test was failed. I'd like to know why the test failed. So we can use the Swift Power Assert. Swift Power Assert, Swift Power Assert command wrap the Swift test or exit test command like that. Then Swift Power Assert injecting the code and uh, compiles and execute automatically. Ta -da! <clears throat> now we can we can get why the test fails because the all values are showed more understandable representation. Switch Power Asset also deployed online, I made. You can write uh, any code, the left side editor, then run the, post the code and the uh, server side Swift, inject the code and compile and execute code, then uh, display the result. You can also try it. Please try it after the talk. Back to the presentation. Switch power asset convert the assertion method automatically to evaluate uh, the stored argument. Since this conversion requires type, type information of each value, so it needs dump ST. You can also try Swift Power Assert Playground online. Finally, uh, Swift Format is a Swift code, formatter, Swift code formatter built on top of Swift syntax. Swift format also deployed online playground. Uh, just quick look the Swift format playground. Um, this is a very uh, a lot of the configuration. If the indent indent two, the indentation is changed to. And you can customize the around species operators and species logical operator or the position of the braces. And so on. Okay, wrap up. With AST, we can write code using source code information. 
Metaprogramming with ST can eliminate boilerplate code and give dynamic behavior to Swift. Swift has several kinds of AST. Some ASTs can be used easily with tools like source kitten and Swift syntax. Did you get interested in programming with AST? Great. <laughs> yeah, it is very um, maniac hobby, but um, it is a possibility to produce the very convenient tool for Swift community. Um, I'd be happy if anyone who, in, if who is interested in making a tool with AST after listening to my talk. If you are interested in AST programming, please also check these talks. It is very useful resources. The improve, improving Swift tool with lib syntax is the, the author of the lib syntax by Harlan Haskins. And SourceKit and you is the author of the SourceKit by JB Simard. And uh, all sources I explained is on GitHub and also you uh, deployed online playground. Hopefully enjoy playing them. That's for me. Thank you for listening.